Hey everyone, it's Jen. I'm gonna show you how to use the standard search card. So I have a plan book pulled up and here's a blank lesson. I don't have anything edited yet. And here is the standards card. If you don't have a standards card in your lesson and you wanna add one, there's the add card down at the bottom and you click add standard search card. If for any reason you wanna take that card out of your lesson, you can just hover over it and click that little trash can to delete it. You can do this in your templates as well and you'll just edit it there. That way you can add one to your template so it'll automatically show up or um, delete it from your template if you wanna take it out of all of your lessons. All right, so let's get into how to actually add standards to your lesson. So you click the search and add standards card. Now I'm gonna go back. So before you have selected the set or the state or the organization that you need, it's gonna look like this. So we have the state standards. We have standards from national organizations um, and other organizations that you might pull your standards from. We also have some from schools and districts. Um, we do work with schools and so sometimes we'll have standards that specifically unique to them that will have uploaded. Um, there's a way that you can also add in your own standards and I'll show you how to do that um, here in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up the states and let's say that I am in Colorado and then I'm gonna find the set that I need. So these are the most up-to-date standards that we have. Below that, you will see older standards. So if for some reason you need to select an older set, those will be down here. When I taught, I taught social studies. So I'm gonna open those up and here's all the grade levels. I taught high school. So here are the official Colorado State um, social studies high school standards. So you'll find those listed here. And this is where you can just select them to put them into your lesson. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. You can click the little button over on the left, a little plus button. And when you close and return to lesson, those will automatically show up in your lesson. You can uncheck those if I don't want to add them. You can use the search bar. So let's say that you have a lesson or maybe you haven't built the lesson yet, but you know that you want the standards that relate to civil rights. So you can put in those keywords and then all the standards with those keywords will pull up. And then you can select those and add those to your lesson. Okay, so let's say that you want to view more than one set side by side. We have this cool feature called the side by side view. So you can click on this. And this is where you might want to, maybe you have um, English language learners in your class. So you can go back to your state. I'm gonna click on Colorado again. I'm gonna find the English language proficiency standards. Click on the set I need. And then these are the Colorado um, kelp standards. So then I can select standards from here. I can also select from my content standards. And then when I close and return to lesson, all of those standards will be there. You can use the side by side for as many sets as you want and you can close out of it if you don't wanna see those anymore. Um, another cool tip that some people like to do is if you want to compare the standards to what they learned the year before. So if I'm teaching ninth grade and I wanna see what they learned in eighth grade, you could go pull that up here so you could see both. Okay, so before we go back to the lesson, I wanna tell you real quick what to do if we don't have the set that you need. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and you're gonna see this button. So didn't find what you're looking for, we can add your standards for you. So after you click on this button, there'll be a form that you're gonna fill out. It's pretty quick to fill out, but you'll just tell us what standards you need, attach a link to the standard set, and then just a little bit more information. So you wanna use that for when maybe your state updated the standards and we don't have that updated standard set yet. You wanna fill that out to let us know, and then we'll get those updated. Another handy link that you're gonna find on that form is there's a link to the commonstandardsproject.com. And this is where you can actually upload your own standards. So let's say you have standards unique to your school. You can upload those yourself and submit them, and then we'll just lo look over it and approve it, and we'll get those added to CC for you. All right, so I'm gonna close and return to my lesson just to remind you, I've got these two standards selected. Close and return, and those are the standards that I had selected to add to my lesson. 
there's a couple cool things you can do just right here. If you want to expand the standard, you can click it. That way you can see the set that it's from. Click it again. If you click it again to shorten it up, you can also star a standard if you want to for whatever reason. Maybe you're really working on that standard. You're working on mastering it. You can star it. And then another thing you can do is I'm going to go to my week view. You can copy and paste standards from one lesson to another. So you can do this with the whole card if you want to. So if you hover over the card, there will be that copy button. Copy that. Go over to the standards card for the day you want to add it to and then click paste. There also might be times where maybe you've mastered one or two of these standards and you just want to move one of them or one or two of them over to the next day, you can copy and paste the individual standards. So if I want to move this one, I'm going to click my copy button and then over here and then just hit paste and then it will show up. And then again, if I go back to search and add standards, it will pull up the same thing that I last used. So you don't have to go and search for the standards you need every time. It will remember the last sets that you were looking at, so it will automatically pull that up for you. If I go to another class, because I know um, a lot of you teach different preps, so you may not be using the same standards for every class. So if I go to my period four, I can search and add standards, and I can pull up the set that I need for this class. And then again, um, when I go back to it, it's going to go back to that set that I was last in for that class. All right. So that's just an overview of the standards card. If you have any questions or want me to explain anything a little bit more, um, let me know in the comments of this video or send us a question over at support at commoncurriculum.com.